Hey guys, so writing the review, I was about to just say, hey, this has an Avago sensor, but who cares about that, right? I wanted to show you guys exactly what kind of sensor it is, give you guys a good review. The only way to do that is to open this bad boy up. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, um, I've already started to take off these little rubber things, so when you see them, they're not that loose. It'll be nice and tight, but I've taken it up already. So, <clears throat> it has one, two, three, four screws. So, let's go down and do those. Oh, actually, and it has weights. And it looks like there's no screw in there, but I might have to take that guy out too. So, let me go ahead and open this up real quick. And I do plan on using this mouse afterwards, so I am not going to destroy it. Seems pretty well built, so I don't think it'll be destroyed. And I'm putting all of the screws together as I see them on the mouse itself, just in case there are different sizes, so that they're all aligned and I get them all in the right place. These all look the same, so it doesn't matter if I jumble them up. <clears throat> I'll move those aside for now. It does have this one little piece here that it looks like I'm going to have to crack, not crack, but Part, probably be the hard. Oh, look at that. Comes open relatively easy. Careful. And yeah, there's a bunch of wires up there. So, let's see if I can find out what kind of a Vago sensor it has without destroying it. Oh, okay, so I don't have to destroy it. <clears throat> Just so that I have it for reference. Also, here is the cabling, how it looks like. This one has the cable on the, oh, they're both the same color. All right, so just take a little care. Outside here goes outside here. This guy, the second one goes over here. The same color minus, minus the white goes over here and purple goes all the way at the end. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Oop, comes off easy. Comes off easy. And those two came off easy. So here is what this guy looks like. I'm hoping that the Avago sensor isn't here. But if it is, it looks easy enough to take apart. So, we'll just put this aside over here for now, and let me look closely. So I see it has a Holtec HT46RB70, next line is B403K0527, reading it for you guys' sake and mine. Uh, let's keep looking. And that's this chip right here. Hmm. That could be the Avago, although I'm expecting it to say Avago. I can't find that. Keep looking. Oh, there is an A on this chip. All right. So, by the way, this there's an Omron right here and an Omron right here. That's for clicking. Oh, those are for the actual mouse buttons. See right here? So, right here. That little white guy. Actually, even better. Cool. And then you move the mouse wheel. There it goes. 
So that's what the inside of that mouse looks like. And if you give me one second, I'll grab a flashlight. Pretty sure that's the Avago chip. One sec. Let's see if uh, the battery that I have, which is fully charged, the battery pack that I will be reviewing very soon. Let's see how well this guy can shine some light on this. Look at that. It's a A9800. A9800 N1342T D as in David 477. So that is the Avago chip. Easy enough, thankfully. And uh, let's go ahead and put this guy back together. Hopefully I can remember how to do it. Let's close this guy up. It's a great little lantern, by the way, but that's a different review. <sighs> okay, so let's see if my 10 second memory works out well. I think that was it? No. I do remember saying the outside goes on the outside, so this guy goes over here. This guy goes over here. So, let's go ahead and since these are kind of putting this guy in here is going to block me. Alright, so <clears throat> I've attached this guy over here. I remember saying this the outside goes on the outside, so I'm going to plug this guy over here. But I am going to wait because I need to plug these guys in first. Hopefully I can do it right. Ooh, look at that. And they're different sizes, so there is no way I could do it wrong. Thank God. All right. Sorry, that's my dog coming. My family doesn't know how to close doors. And I asked them for a few minutes of peace so that I could record this. And last but not least, this guy right over here. So, this looks good. Looks like I connected it right. I'm going to go back and make sure by looking at the video. Or maybe not. Yeah, let's just see how it works. First, let's put it back together. Alright, so, thankfully... All the screws are the same size. So I'll go back and just make sure it's nice and tight. And there you can hear that those mouse buttons clicking those Omron little controllers there. Omron and Avago seem very popular. The reason is they seem pretty good. Haven't had a single issue with them at all. <clears throat> Alright. And last but not least.
right, and let me put these guys back together. If I do mess this up, thankfully they've included nice new ones in the packaging. In case you ever did want to open it up just to see what kind of sensor it is, but you'll find it only here on dragonblogger.com that I was insane enough to actually open it up for you and tell you what kind of Omron's or uh, Avago sensor was in there. So hopefully this works because I have to go back and uh, retape another one of my videos that I uh, messed up on. So again, not a hundred percent, but they got my back. So, back to nice and new, you know, minus all the fingerprints and everything, but it looks good. Alright guys, you'll see one other video on this very soon. See ya.